so the guys at the amazon are really crazy they have delivered this mobile at 6:45 am in the morning So the first question, the basic question that will come to anyone's mind is why anyone should buy OnePlus 7T? And in one word, I would like to answer you, balance, not disbalance. The balance between the hardware, the software, the complete user experience, because true, there are mobiles even pricing at lesser than this and which are providing same specs, but a mobile is not complete without its user experience, without, without its uh, long-term support without its upgrades without its updates and you know the service center reports so oneplus has gained a trust between the mobile users a community they treat their customers as a community people they take care of them they provide them uh, pretty fast updates and whenever somebody reports something they are quick to uh, take action upon them and they listen to user so that's the reason oneplus 70 has gained such high market share in India. Their Oxygen OS is a breeze. It's smooth, it's fast, it's not bloated. It's kind of a stockish Android, but a little bit of flavor to it. So that's the reason OnePlus 70, or in fact, any OnePlus mobile has such a huge fan following because they provide you good experience. Now there are other mobiles, their software is not as optimized or there's a lot of bloating and there is advertisement also on the mobiles which kind of is, I don't know. So that's the answer, balance, balance between hardware, software, price, your user experience, that's the reason a person buys OnePlus mobile. And as you can see, the box is quite big. Orange texture as usual. OnePlus 70 looks like some redesigning here and there. So let's start with unboxing. And the mentioned price is also 37,999. So it's not like they have mentioned a price at 50,000 and they have striked the price and selling it at 39,000. Oh, sorry, 38,000. Like in the unboxing, we have some paperwork, some welcome card and uh, then the phone itself and it's quite heavy compared to my lg v30 plus which i use right now and also there it is the charger walk charger it's 30 watt it's amazing they have provided this inside the box itself and then there is a usb type c cable and also a protective case just in case you are not purchasing the case right now finish is frosted and there is a silver finish behind the glass so it looks like it's a metal but it's a glass so it's literally wonderful I'll show you in a bit And so there it is guys the unboxing i unboxed it in the morning and i went to office because i was getting late and uh, there you have it i kept it on the chart so it's now fully charged put the back cover on and uh, it looks amazing the rubber finish on the back using this cover is good it provides good support because it's a big phone it's a heavy phone and it has to be protected at some cost because it's glass front and black and also in the front end there is a thin sheet of protective layer so if you are putting tempered glasses which usually don't work in the curved screens although this is not as curved as you would expect it to be it's completely i mean not completely flat but yeah it's almost almost flat on the edges there is slight curve so i i'm probably there will be some uh, tempered glasses which can fit on these now coming to the specs it has the 855 plus snapdragon 
built on the 7 nanometer architecture which is the latest from the snapdragon right now and it's present in few of the phones and uh, the screen size is 6.55 full HD plus display so display supports HDR plus which will give you some nice contrasts and literally punchy colors in some videos like on Netflix apart from that when I look at it the first time it feels gorgeous that display is no doubt one of the best in the market right now it's AMOLED and mostly they procure it from Samsung and it's a 90 Hertz display so the transitions are really smooth I mean it's a new experience we have been using 60 frames per second mobiles for so long and this is 90 frames per second so it looks smooth it looks amazing oneplus 7 pro was the previous mobile from oneplus which implemented this 90 hertz display so comparing with the oneplus 7 it has 8 gb of ram on the base variant so that's something you get extra by paying uh, i guess 6000 extra considering the price on the sale the price on the sale was 38,000 minus 2,000 instant discount plus you could have got 3,800 discount if you purchase above 50,000 so the effective price will become around 34,000 so 34,200 was a good price to pay for this mobile which was latest generation it comes with Android 10 out of the box I think apart from pixels this is the first device which supports Android 10 at this moment in the market and obviously when I'm holding this you have seen the main focus the design change like oneplus has transitioned from its linear camera design the vertical stripe to something different now and it's it reminds you of it reminds you of uh, uh, moto z phones and it looks good it doesn't look bad it looks like nokia lumia phones a big camera bump in the back and it is a camera bump like the camera is elevated on the back i will remove the back cover so that you can see but the reason i put it because it's a fingerprint less of a fingerprint magnet but it still it attracts fingerprints so this new camera design i mean i like it i like this new camera design it gives some beefier feel to this camera and there are three cameras now one is the main 48 megapixel i sony imx 586 sensor and the remaining two are 12 megapixel 16 megapixel one wide angle one telephoto zoom range so this three camera setup will be sufficient i mean this has become the de facto standard in the market that day one will be the normal field of view one will be wide angle field of view like GoPro action cameras field of view and one will be telephoto which is good for portraiture or giving you a lossless zoom so that's a nice welcome and uh, it looks good but the bump is pretty pretty high i mean you have to protect it in short if you are habitual of keeping your phone with your screen up and uh, this frosted silver color is gorgeous it looks amazing it has such a subtle finish it doesn't shine as much as a metal and it doesn't shine as much as a glossy glass it has a balance balance between a shiny metal and a shiny glass the battery it supports is 3800 and it supports warp charges so the charging is very quick i mean i will not go completely into specs side but i'm letting you know that this supports i mean this can last a full of your day and if you need power you have this warp charger which will charge it very quickly within an hour the front camera is good it's 16 megapixel snapper and the smaller teardrop design from oneplus 7 is a good welcome it looks even smaller the notch i mean it, it's practically disappearing now and there is a speaker grill on top so no fancy screen vibration stuff just uh, volume coming out of the speakers and it also supports dual speakers like the front the top portion and the bottom portion they act as a dual speakers so, and there are three buttons in total one is the usual slider switch for controlling your modes the switch which still continues to show that it's useful when it was launched and it's still useful after years thank you apple and then there is one lock switch which you can use to unlock and then there is a volume slider that's it that's pretty much it and now you will be guessing you will be knowing the way of the fingerprint sensor is it's on the screen on the top of the screen and it's blazing fast it's fast it's blazing fast so now coming to the competition is one plus 70 for everyone Based on a person, based on their needs, I would recommend three, like one of the three mobiles. One is 7 plus 70. The other is Asus ROG 2. 
and the third is LG G8s which again they launch silently I don't know what is wrong with their PR team their publicity their marketing team I have no clue what's wrong with them they just they just innovate they just work hard on their products I have been an avid user of my LG V30 plus for more than one and a half years now and it's still going amazing it has not slowed down I have 128 GB extra memory card in it I have six 128 GB inbuilt memory in it and it is still runs fast they both are almost full so now I'll be recording the audio using my lab mic which I have kept very close to the mobile so you can see it's quite close to the mobile just finger distance and so currently I'm at 50% volume currently I'm at 50% volume so let's play Keeping the mobile a bit distant so that they are equidistant to the microphone. And as you can see, the camera. This is the front camera and the quality is amazing if I shoot a photo it's good it does some post processing here and there and this is the front camera with a portrait light shadow a miss and this is the front so the camera quality of the front camera is good it's portrait mode and it is doing some blurring here and there and I can see it live the edge protection seems good but the background is not so competitive right now so i'll come to the detailed camera review very soon in a day or two maybe coming to the back camera and i have my friend here superman and look at one thing now the exposure is auto balanced the moment i touch on its face see the exposure balances itself so good and then again a nice snap of photo if i touch the back surface the black it exposes everything so exposure balancing is good it looks some dramatic effect and wide angle camera if i go to the wide angle mode okay it shows everything that's happening here and uh, again exposure lock it's good now coming to the telephoto as you know the telephoto it's like a zoom lens it zooms in the object and the same superman's face is now so close yes the superman has taken a hit here and there and that is why it has marks on his face but yeah superman is strong so i can go so close to this and if i log the exposure and same can work in a portrait also okay let's see if it works in a portrait okay the portrait mode says put the object back makes sense how will they detect depth the focus is good it's quick it's a smooth and this is the natural background blur which you are seeing here 
I would have to tell you that the environment is lit on my face but it's not very lit on the Superman's face so it is something the car the details they look good they really look good the wide angle lens hmm it's all good it shows what I'm up to the LED strip at the back the normal snapper coming to the video now I'll be recording a video and it is it is smooth it focuses good the focus is snappier by the way I have updated my keyboard will be seeing a new one very soon right Superman switching on to Mac switching on to the 2x zoom the telephoto lens I mean what else do you need in life so close to the objects see his chest bursting out bursting out that sounded better if you see about 1 plus 70 it gives you all the information nice touch I think it's like it shows you everything which is something which I always wanted once you go to the about phone you should see everything this shows you everything good build number is oxygen OS and no I don't want to be a developer right now and the Android version is Android 10 here you go Android 10 anything to play with okay I can play like this I can play like this so as you can see the camera is quick the video quality is good and uh, I will do a more in-depth review now coming to the cons I don't see a lot of cons here I mean to be frank I don't want to mention any con here because there is none God HD display at 90 Hertz you want that also you will get eventually but it will kill your battery way faster and uh, practically speaking you don't notice a lot of difference although I can because I have been using LGB 30 plus but that is like 5 to 10 percent of difference to my eyes when I'm using mobile tad close and that is usually when you are reading in your bed at night or I mean on a daytime who uses a mobile like this I don't think so no so at a normal distance 25 centimeter from the eyes at least minimum distance it looks smooth it looks fluid so is the technology fluid OLED and the 70 why is it the common choice why should I go with the common choice and I would answer you if you want to close your eyes and think about about balance 1 plus 70 is no brainer because in every company if you spend less than 45,000 there are some nits here and there there are something missing here and there and one plus 70 is one of the best contender in the market right now and uh, this is not my mobile to be frank I wish it was but I have purchased so many other stuff that I don't have enough money right now in short I like their way of doing things they are like a community they build the products based on user reviews what people are looking for the actual features which are reward I mean that's the reason I think they don't want to put in a quad HD display because it's of no use like iPhone doesn't put it such a high resolution because it's not too much required so these are the things like they try to put practicality over gimmicks headphone jack yeah it's missing why well they think these are insignificant right now I don't think so these sound magics they are amazing and my LG V30 squad deck can power them beautifully and they want me to use dongle for that okay but I destroyed me in the box so that is something so these are the only small cons this phone has and if you want to see any specific kind of video any special feature or if you think I have missed anything here and there please let me know in the comment section I will try to do it as soon as possible and uh, my next video on this will be in-depth camera comparison I will try to put it into the real world use try to see how it performs in the real world how much it battery compensates yeah why were you off so much oh so guys thanks for watching and please subscribe like share and let me know if you find anything which I missed see you bye